Real quick, by no means is this video intended to offend anyone. I simply wanted to exaggerate and or satirize some of the things that I've seen and heard people do to their EcoBoost cars, whether it's the Mustang or Ford Focus RS. By the way, guys, I just want to go on note saying that the EcoBoost, the 2.3 liter turbo in particular, is an EcoBeast. I absolutely enjoy that engine. In my opinion, it is probably one of Ford's better engines. Having said that, some of the stereotypical owners that you'll encounter within the EcoBoost community is people that were originally JDM fanboys or two, they are daily drivers who just simply prefer better gas mileage and or less road noise and obviously le like cheaper insurance, which is pretty cool. And third, early adopters of the latest and greatest technology. In, the, in this case, it's the 2.3 liter turbo for the EcoBoost Mustang that came out in 2015 and the Ford Focus RS in 2016. So let's get started. Number one, V6 guys, they're peasants. Number two, I can smoke any stock GT with just a cold air intake and an eBay chip tune. Number three, I couldn't handle the GT's raw power, so I went to the EcoBoost. Number four, the 2.3 liter turbo is Ford's best motor. Number five, the 2.3 liter turbo has more potential than the 5.0. I'm super serious, guys. We can eventually run low eights like the GT, maybe even high sevens. Number six, my aftermarket exhaust makes my four banger almost sound like a V8. Number seven, I've only had one turbo leak, tubes came off twice, blistering underbody temperatures in my two months of ownership. EcoBoost Mustangs, pff, they're really reliable. Number eight, I didn't own a JDM car as a kid. What are you talking about? Number nine, why buy a GT when I could slap on some bolt-ons, a tune, remove every seat but the drivers, put on drag radials, pump nitrous from the trunk air, you know, make my daily driver not daily drivable, just to smoke a GT for way less. Number 10, I traded my 2011 GT because it was too loud. Number 11, I traded my GT because it was a gas guzzler. Cause you know, that's what every Mustang owner cares about, right? Number 12, girls are pleasantly surprised when my EcoBoost sounds like a Honda Civic. Alrighty guys, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below of some of the things that you've heard or seen EcoBoost Mustang owners or EcoBoost owners in general do or say about their cars. Also in the comment section, please come up with stuff that you've heard or seen Corvette owners say or do because that will be the next video of these series and eventually I will get to the Mustang GT owners as well as the Camaro SS owners. So until then, please stay tuned. Peace out.